So this is going to be a really quick tutorial to show you how to auto walk in VR. And I think what that means to most people, auto walk, is that when you press the button on the cardboard, you start walking, and when you press it again, you stop walking. And the same goes for the Gear VR. If you tap on the touchpad, you would start walking, and if you tap on it again, you would stop walking. And for this, we want it to work with physics so that we can go up and down terrains, run into walls. Let's do this. It's going to take just a couple of minutes. I've already written the script, so I'm going to just explain how it works. First of all, I'm going to delete the main camera, and I've already imported the Google VR SDK. So with the Google VR SDK, I'm going to go to the prefabs, and I'm going to import the GVR main prefab. I'm going to reset the position to 0, 0, 0, and then I'm going to make a plane and go ahead and reset the position on that as well. For this to work properly, at least the way I designed it, I'm going to create a game object that's called VR main, and the Google VR main prefab is going to be a child of that. So I have an empty game object called VR main, a uh, Google VR main prefab as a child of that. And that allows me to work, as I explained in a previous video tutorial, how to switch between the Gear VR and the cardboard. But it also works good for the character, to, for the character controller. And that's what we're going to use here. Unity has a really great built in solution called a character controller. Let's add a character controller to VR main. On top of that, the character controller doesn't do anything unless you uh, unless you give it some instructions so here is the character controller and you can see everything you need to know about it mostly there's a move and a symbol move function we're using a basically a uh, modified version of this script right here simple move to make this thing work so that script I created is called VR Auto Walk. So let me add the VR Auto Walk script. And the other change I'm going to make here is is I'm going to correct the location, and everything, because if I reset the position of VR main, our our cardboard is way off. So let me just go ahead and set this to zero zero zero. And you're going to see here that the camera is right in the middle of the ground, and so is the character controller. So I'm going to move VR main up by one, and that's going to bring it directly on the ground. For the Google VR prefab, if we bring this up, so we have the character controller at one, and we got the Google VR main at one as well. That puts the character controller directly on the ground, and it puts the head at the top of the character controller. Now if we take a look at the auto walk script, first of all, let's hit play. We can't see the sky. We're going to fix that real quick by going to the main camera and putting skybox there we go and you can see if I click I start moving and stop moving so it's already everything's already working let me just go through the script really quick it is the VR auto walk script it's really short it's just this much so it requires a character controller component and I, there's a speed which I've set to three and then I, there's a bool true or false if I should move forward or not and then there's the character we need access to the character controller script which is this and we need access to the Google VR the Google viewer script Google VR viewer script which is previously called cardboard uh, which is this one of course on GVR main and we need access to the VR head 
And in this case, we actually need to access the main camera because if you're using Gear VR, it's the main camera that rotates, not the head. So we'll use the main camera for the VR head transform. So when it starts, we need to find the controller, which just gets us, which just gets us the controller here. And then find the Google VR viewer on child zero. That's just gets access to that script. And then we need a transform, so we just get it from the main camera. And then in update, we say if input.fire1, input.get button down is fire one. So that means that if, if Unity gets the fire one input from editor project settings input, the fire one actually automatically works for the Google Cardboard and for tapping on the Gear VR. And it also works for the mouse click. So if you just use mouse fire one, it all works. Maybe you, uh, maybe you need to access the Google VR triggered function for your specific application, but out of the box, Fire One works for Google Cardboard and Gear VR, so we're just going to use that. So if that, uh, if we trigger, let's change the value of the true or false move forward. So if it's true, change it to false, and if it's false, change it to true, and then here it checks to see if I should move. So if it's true, then find the forward direction, which is the forward direction for the head or the camera, and then tell the character controller to move forward. So we just say controller dot simple move forward multiplied by the speed variable. And that's the entire script. So let's take a look. I'm going to I'm going to right click and create a 3D object of a train. And let's just assign a real quick texture to that so that it's so there's some contrast and bring up some terrain here. Whoop, that one's not going to work. There we go. That that should work out. And then the other thing I want to make real quick is just a just a cube over here. We'll make it red to say, hey, you can't walk through this. We can make the ground green so that it... Or just make it grass like the rest of it. And then we'll make this... Uh, that's fine. This is a border that we can't walk through. And then... I just duplicated it, so there we go. That should work out. Let's uh, see if it works. Everything's working great. Now the character controller has slope control and all that, so it knows I can't go up something that's too steep. Slope limit, you see here, is a 45 degree angle. So I can't go up hills that are too steep, but I stay on the ground. I can walk around, respond to physics. I can, I've already tested it out, but it works fine. I can click to uh, walk, click to stop. And when you compile to Gear VR, you can tap to walk and tap to stop, just like you can with your mouse, because we're using that fire one. And then it responds to gravity, so there you go. I'm falling off the cliff, and I've lost my game. i got to do some more work on this game because it looks pretty bad right now. It looks pretty, but it's a good start. It's a good start. I could create something really fun and, pu and publish it next week or next month. Anyways, I'm going to have some fun. I hope this helps you guys out. If it does, give it a like. Share it with your fellow VR developers out there. And, uh... When you make something awesome, make sure to let me know so I can check it out too. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.